Hi everyone, I'm Mina and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. I'm super excited to become a part of the YouTube community. So I recently decided that I wanted to start a video journal as a fun and creative outlet for myself as well as a way to kind of document my memories and things that happened to me. So I wanted to share that with the world here on YouTube. I'll be posting things about my art and anything that I do with that, as well as any experiences that happen to me, whether it be any trips that I go on, I'll take you guys through those videos, as well as uh, any experiences that I go through, such as college within the next year or so. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get right into this video. If you like the animation that you're going to see very soon in this video, please go and check out my art Instagram account at MRYU underscore art. Um, that's kind of where I put all of the artwork and pieces that I do, so if you're interested in seeing that, that's the place to go. So I just wanted to give you guys some background on my art experience. So I've been doing art ever since I was really young. It's always been a huge hobby of mine, um, but the only formal education I've had in art was an art two class freshman year of high school. And then I took AP studio art sophomore year of high school. And uh, I never really got into the world of digital media until very recently, about a year and a half ago, when I got my iPad Pro. And I absolutely fell in love with, uh, you know, anything graphics. Uh, so I started using Photoshop and, um, you know, Procreate on the iPad. So I thought that that was really, really fun. And then this past semester, I had the opportunity to take a computer animation one class um, at Western Kentucky University. And so I thought that would be really fun because I've never really done anything like uh, 3D modeling or animation. And I thought that that would be something that I would be really interested in learning. So I jumped at the opportunity to take that and I did take that this past fall semester of 2020. When I first started taking this class, I had no idea what it actually took to create, you know, any kind of computer animation, but I had no idea how much time it actually takes and how much work you have to put into it to make a really decent animation. And you see all of those, you know, hour, hour and a half long uh, animated films that Pixar and Disney put out. And when I watched those films before, I never realized that that took probably thousands upon thousands of hours uh, to create that animated film. And so now after having gone through this class, I've kind of come to appreciate those films a lot more because I never before realized that's how much time that it actually took to create those art pieces. Um, if you guys have a chance to take a computer animation class and you think that that's something that you'd be interested in learning, I highly, highly recommend it. It's probably within the top three favorite classes that I've ever taken before. Um, so I really enjoyed that class. If you can take it, I definitely recommend you take that. Um, so for this class, uh, the animation that you're gonna be seeing is actually my final project. So over the past about 13 weeks of the semester, I've spent probably over 100 hours working on this animation. Um, it was required to be about 30 seconds, so that's what you're gonna see. Um, and we were required to do everything completely from scratch. So the software that we used is called Autodesk Maya. That is the industry standard for any kind of computer animation. It's very similar to Blender, if you know what that is. Um, and we had to totally come up with the idea of the film that we wanted to do. We had to storyboard it, create all of our objects from scratch, um, and then create some textures, lighting, uh, camera angles, everything like that. So we had to do all of that on our own. Um, and so the reason why I called this animation a dragon's treasure is because I'm actually half Japanese, half Korean. And my last name, Ryumai, means uh, in front of dragon. And I take that inspiration of my heritage a lot with me um, whenever I think about the next art pieces that I want to do. And so. Um, I have a lot of art pieces that are actually dragon inspired or inspired by my Asian heritage. By titling this piece A Dragon's Treasure, I wanted to show how much I appreciate and how much uh, my heritage and my background means to me, and so I really wanted to kind of highlight that in this video. Um, 
Before you watch this animation, are a few things I wanted to point out that I kind of included in the animation. So at the very beginning, when you see the temple gate, right in the middle of the temple gate is actually the character for you, Maya, uh, my last name. Um, and I thought that would be kind of a fun thing to include there. Um, and then the koi fish in the pond are actually heavily inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender's <laughs> koi fish, uh, if you're familiar with that animated uh, TV series. Um, so now for the moment that you've all been waiting for, here is my final animation. So that was my final project. I know it's not necessarily the best uh, animation and some of my technical skills um, definitely need some improving, but I'm really proud of how this animation ended up turning out. Um, and I enjoyed this class so much that I'm actually taking com computer animation to in the spring semester. Uh, so I'll probably be posting videos about my experience and process through that class, um, as well as anything that I learned through that class too. Um, if you like this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and I would love to hear any comments or thoughts that you have in the comment section down below. That's the end of this video and see you guys in my next one. Bye!